Now, in a matter of minutes, the federal court will hand out its judgment on the biggest consumer class action in Australian history. The case will determine whether thousands of customers should be paid back millions in ANZ bank fees. Our consumer affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge joins us now. Amy, good morning. So give us the background to this case. Virginia, this action was first filed in court back in 2010. It went to the High Court to see that Maurice Blackburn could actually challenge the bank on a point of law on behalf of more than 40,000 customers. Now, it went to a hearing in the Melbourne Federal Court in December last year and it's been a very quick turnaround. This morning, uh, Justice Michelle Gordon will hand down her finding at 9.30 this morning. The crux of the argument is that ANZ customers, 43,500 of them, were charged unfair fees over a six-year period. Now, Maurice Blackburn has argued that those fees constituted penalties because they didn't reflect the true cost of the bank doing business. For example, if someone didn't have enough money in their account to uh, pay a bill, then they get penalised by the bank. And wh whether that was actually a penalty or a just fee charged by the bank, that's what's up for question and decision today, Virginia. Yeah, it'll have big consequences as well if it goes one way or the other because this is sort of the, the microcosm, if you like, test case, isn't it, for what, for what the, uh, the law firm would want to go on in representing and dealing with our customers from eight other banks. That's right. So a total of eight banks, 185,000 customers in all. So this is really the test case. ANZ is the first to go. If they win this case, then, uh, then the rest of the banks will be in the firing lane. They include all of the big four banks. They also include banks such as uh, Bank SA and uh, uh, Citibank as well. So this will have implications for those class actions also, but also broader implications for any firms that lock consumers into contracts. If the court does find in favour of Morris Blackburn, Things like gym contracts, if you want to get out of one of those as a consumer, what penalty is it right for businesses to charge? That'll be the question if indeed uh, Justice Michelle Gordon uh, finds in favour of Morris Blackburn in the class action today. If they find, if, if the favour is found uh, in favour of, of those bringing the class action, are we talking about a potential transfer of a lot of money straight away or do you imagine the banks might go on and challenge this? Well, it is possible. We're talking in this case $57 million in fees. Now, it's important to note, Virginia, that this action is being uh, funded by the publicly funded litigator, uh, publicly listed litigator rather, Bentham IMF. So they uh, fund this action on a no win, no fee. But if they do win today, of course, a portion of that money, the winnings will go back to Bentham IMF. Uh, but they have assured uh, customers that they will get uh, a substantial amount of fees back uh, personally as well. Amy Bainbridge, good to talk to you. Thank you.